All right, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, we're a little early even. All right. Good stuff. Take a minute here. Wait for some people to jump online. I know there's a little bit of a delay from here to the old interwebs out there. How's everybody doing today? Can you hear me all right? Somebody jump on, say hello. What do we got? Who's out there? Let me know you're there. Say hello. We're going to get uh, started here in just a minute. Happy Friday, everybody. Thanks for, uh, for jumping on. Those of you that jump on later on, uh, leave a comment below. And uh, let me know what you think, what you'd like for us to talk about on the show. We do this show every week. Day, good morning to you. How are you, dear? And uh, man, I still got to get used to this little setup that we got here. Is... It used to have the comment section blown up like right in front of me. Now it's like in the small little box in the corner. Anyway, hey, happy Friday. It's going to be a good, good day. I um, hope you all have, have had a wonderful week so far this week. Um, I'm trying to think of what's all gone on this week. I'm back here home for, for a little while, so it's been a little, I don't want to say quiet because it's definitely been busy with as much stuff as we have going on. Um, went down, worked with the horses, saw my friends down at Worth at Hollow, Day. uh one of the gals that's, that's down there, one of the volunteers down there. So it was great getting back down there uh, this week and seeing them after being gone for about a month. So uh, that was fun. Uh, let me see here. S3, that is one sex. <laughs> All right. Listen, S3, JD, uh, thank you for that comment, first off. And second, uh, I do not forget. That doesn't, that doesn't take away of what you wrote that you're doing this week on your show, which we'll cover uh, here very soon. Um, but yeah, happy Friday, everybody. Let's get this party started. It's going to be a uh, a great week. Hope everybody has, has had a good week so far. Uh, any plans for this weekend? Let me know. Uh, we're still early in the show, so if you got plans this weekend, you're just seeing this, leave a comment in the section below. And uh, we're going to get started on what you missed this week on the shows. Uh, we have a couple of shows this week, and we got a few more that are coming out uh, this weekend. Some really good shows uh, this week. I was really excited to to listen to. It was a good week. Carry on reporting for duty. <laughs> Stupid. Carry on podcast. Thank you for for checking in, Lindsay. Uh, she's got an interesting show this week, so stay tuned for that. With that being said. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Uh, again, Friday. Happy Friday, Red Friday. Remember, everybody deploy. Yes, look it. I did not forget the bow tie this week, y'all. All right? Just saying. All right, so first up in the queue, it's actually it's going to be coming out a little bit later today, the Decision Hour with yours truly and my friend John Kerry from uh, uh, Simper Savage. This week's topic is freedom of speech and... It, we recorded this one several weeks ago, and it was right after uh, the lieutenant colonel on the Marine Corps. Kind of that that whole process was kind of kicking off a little bit. And if you want to know more about the lieutenant colonel, uh, the Marine Corps, that and what's going on, listen to the Carry On podcast because Lindsay covers that quite a, quite a bit uh, in in some of her episodes. But we talk about freedom of speech, and you know how. It, it differs between when you're in the military, when you're out of the military, some common misconceptions of what you can and can't do when you're in uniform. Um, but also the freedom of speech of like when you're working for a corporation and all of a sudden you become a whistleblower or, or you get fired or, or, or what have you, what does freedom of speech really mean right now? And um, it's, 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 it was a pretty interesting topic. And I think you guys will like this one. So stay tuned for that one because that one's going to be coming out later today. Well, let me see here. Oh, gee, JD, that's a big one, buddy. Um, all right, next up, moving on. 
The Power of Investing in People podcast with our gal Shay Sparks, who I'm sure will jump on here uh, pretty soon. Uh, two episodes this week, and I'm going to screw up the name after I've been listening to his name for the last 10 minutes. Uh, the first one is, what is the power of training in martial arts? And th- this episode was with a good friend of hers, uh, Fraz Azab. And this was a kind of an emotional one to listen to. It was an emotional, not in a bad way. It was emotional. It was like uplifting and it really kind of got to you sharing her story. Um, how many people have that are watched this or that listen to this later on have done some type of martial arts and done some type of martial arts training? Um, and you kind of, it, it, it's very empowering. I, I, I did it with my son for many years when I was living in Arizona full time uh, and, and had some great teachers down there. Um, and it, it's a very empowering and powerful uh, art form. And she talks about Krav, Krav Maga and they talk about how Krav Maga was, was kind of founded, what you, you can do with it, et cetera, uh, and the basis of it and what it did for Shay personally uh, going through um, that martial arts form. And it, it was, I've never done Krav Maga myself. I've done several other different styles uh, of martial arts. I absolutely love it. And it wasn't, you know, for me, it was, it was a great workout and it, it relieved a lot of, relieved a lot of stress, but at the same time, it gives you kind of that, like, Hey, I can defend myself, um, as well. So I think, I think it's a great, great. Uh, if you if you haven't done martial arts, I think you should look into it personally. That's that's what I'll say. Chris, good morning, brother. Appreciate you bumping on. Carry on, pop at black belt in taekwondo. Really? I don't. I don't, don't think I knew that. Uh, Gabe, taekwondo for my last twelve. He was pretty much a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, JD's wearing a black belt right now. No, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't count. <laughs> That's, you guys are great. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Uh, so yeah, check that out. That's her first episode this week of the Power Investing People podcast. Um, check it out. Martial arts. You should do it. Uh, her second, uh, episode this week is what is functional medicine and why it's important in today's world? We answer this question and many more with this episode with Casey Tramp, who shares her own story of PTSD after the birth of her first child. Uh, she also gives us some uh, healthy tips in finding the best doctor uh, for us because we are responsible for our own health. Couldn't be more true statement right there. It's absolutely true. Uh, another great episode. So uh, if you're looking at uh, and this is another one that everybody should listen to, functional medicine, and then really giving tips on the type of doctor you should look for that works best for you. So check that out. Great episodes this week by uh, The Power of Investing in People and Podcasts. So what do we have here? Travis, hey, good morning, sir. How are you? Thanks for jumping on. You you, you guys' comments are – I'm not going to read all the comments right now, but you guys, <laughs> you guys are great. All right, next up. Moving on, Carry On Podcast, our gal Lindsay, she, um, this episode, she's talking about attending a rally military style. All right, so if, <laughs> the, I, it took me a minute before I started listening to this, and I was like, oh, okay, uh, military style? It, it's def, the title definitely is very, very catchy, um. But what she talks about is she focuses on what you should do if you're still active duty whether you're, uh, or, or a service member and you would like to attend some type of campaign rally. There are certain rules that you have to uh, follow by uh, follow for uh, if you're still in the military um, and you want to attend some type of political rally. So it was really, really uh, it's a very eye-opening thing, and I, a lot of things I, I didn't know. So it was very educational, so well done uh, on this one. Carry on podcast, good job. Uh, and those of you that are currently in the military, whether it's active duty, guard, reserve, uh, what have you, and you'd like to attend an, an, a political rally, uh, know what you can and can't do. So take a listen. It's a, it's a good episode. All right, moving on. We have the arms room. 
Uh, this week, getting personal. Uh, they're covering, um, they're answering questions. And I took the wrong notes down. They are answering questions from their Patreon. They actually have a Patreon. Uh, so if you join their Patreon, you get an extra show. Um, and they're answering questions about guns, personal questions, uh, and a whole other slew of other things. So check it out. It's a great episode. They drop their episodes every Monday at 2 p.m. Arizona time, which is Mountain Standard Time. Uh, and don't ask me what time it is there right now because I couldn't tell you. But check it out. It's another great episode of the Arms Room Show. Who do we have here? Tom, good morning. What's up? How are you? Appreciate you jumping on. All right, next up. Big episode from uh, the team over at Not Your Average Operator. This week's topic is men mentoring women. All right? Stay with me on this one. In ancient Greece, uh, the famous goddess Athena was known to take the form of a man to mentor Temecalus, uh, the son of... Oh, guys, first off, why are you guys using big words that I, you know I can't pronounce? Seriously? Another Greek, Greek person. Um, <laughs> and converse about power, wisdom, direction to become successful. All right. Uh, the focus point of the story displays that, in fact, that there is an uncomfortable barrier between men and women when it comes to mentorship. So true. Chris, <laughs> yeah, I know it's funny. Um, but this was a great, great show because the. The guys have, um, or the, the team welcomes a special guest, Liz. She's a female U.S. Army commander, a Black Hawk, Black Hawk pilot, uh, to discuss the importance of men mentoring women while addressing and creating solutions to the hardest challenges uh, that it ultimately brings. This was such a... Uh, kind of a, a very eye-opening episode because it still happens today Liz actually brings up a couple of examples that she's gone through in and of herself and you're just kind of like man mind blown like you wouldn't think that that's still an issue but there's still an issue of men mentoring women uh, in our military and and I think it's 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 definitely an issue that needs to be addressed and I really really think that this is a great episode that you guys should listen to. But let me let me point out some of the uh, key discussions in, in this. Why men as a group are so bad at cross-gender men mentoring. The negative and positive effects of mixed-gender units uh, on the force and family. Communication barriers. Um, professionalism and culture, just to name uh, a few. So... Um, let me see here. For further information, we highly suggest the following books by W. Brad Johnson and David G. Smith. Uh, Athena Rising, How and Why Men Should Mentor Women, and Good Guys, How Men Can Be Better Allies for Women in the Workplace. The, the team really hit it on point with this, uh, with this episode. And I really think if you listen to this episode with an open mind, and whether you're a man or a woman in a leadership position, this is something that everybody can take to heart and, and learn whether you're in the military or you're in uh, corporate America right now. So uh, not your average operator. Well done, gents. Uh, uh, and, and Liz, thank you for coming on being the special guest this week. It was absolutely uh, a, a great episode. Um, let me see here. Oh, you guys got jokes. I'm not even going to read that. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Love the crayon joke, Chris. I got one for you, buddy. All right. Uh, moving. <laughs> you guys are horrible. Moving moving on. Let's, i got to stay focused here. Uh, next up, we got Time to Shine today with our buddy Scott Ferguson. This week, he has Rebecca Hansen, who is a uh, – generational relationships expert that provides tools and techniques to help bridge the communication gap between parents, their teens, and their aging parents. Um, she's an expert, a uh, relationship expert that provides tools and techniques. To bridge the, yeah, so I, I, this is a really great episode uh, on this one here. It was pretty cool. And 
I learned a lot because it was kind of cool how I, the position I'm in with my life, how I can talk to to, to my son and and my parents, and, and you pick up some different tips on it. So check it out that this week's uh, Time to Shine Today with our buddy Scott Ferguson. Uh, let me see here. Next up, we have MSEC Podcast. MSEC Podcast. Um this this topic this this uh, most recent topic that they did was the um, a summer that changed my life, uh, and they speak with Tomic McGear, a 19 year old son of a retired special operations soldier who grew up in Fayetteville, uh, Fayetteville, uh, North Carolina, near Fort Bragg. Um, he's currently a sophomore at Appalachian State University. He's majoring in psychology and minoring in American Sign Language, and um, he's a childhood brain cancer survivor, and he's uh, he talks about his experience with, with brain cancer, and, and this year he's actually celebrating um, his 10-year anniversary of being cancer-free. So this is a pretty amazing uh, story, very inspirational story. So Thomas, thank you. And, uh, thank you to MSEC, uh, for doing this episode. MSEC is a military child education coalition. If you are active duty guard reserve uh, or even veterans, they have a, a awesome resources for military families and whatnot. So go check that out at, um, military child education coalition.com or I'm sorry, MSEC.org militarychild.org as well uh next up uh let me see here did that one already did that one abaldi reports check them out go to the abaldi reports uh on their home page uh facebook they do a weekly show uh, over there we also have oh here it comes the s3 this week here excuse me the s3 this week jd is talking it's it's week seven of the nfl and there's going to be two big upsets this sunday are the arizona cardinals going to be one of them only time will tell jd releases his early predictions for the top five mvp candidates including a rookie on the defensive side and of course he's got to brag a little bit after going 12 and 4 last week he's got his three sportsbook parlays that you should uh, seriously consider including, once again, going against Adam's beloved Wisconsin Badgers, who can't cover a spread any better than the Chicago Bears defense on Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> oh, wow. Check out the S3 show every Saturday, 8 a.m., Arizona. That's Mountain Standard Time. Thank you, J.D. Yeah, jerk. Uh, next up, we got... Uh, we got your six at six with the People's Patriot Project uh, every Sunday, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Go to the People's Patriot Project um, Facebook page to watch their live. Um, it's great. Love it. All about it. Check it out. They're doing great stuff for the veteran community. Enough about me. Talk more. <laughs> Enough about me. Talk more about me. Oh, you guys are hilarious. And, of course, we got to thank our sponsors. Thank you to... Uh, all the sponsors that are out there. That's all I got for the shows this week, guys. Um, more stuff coming. Um, so, yeah. A lot of, wow, a lot of comments this morning. I'm loving the interaction, guys. This makes me happy. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, with that being said, like I said, that's it. That's all I got. That's this Friday's, this, this, this week's, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that's your weekly wrap-up for this week folks. All right. Let's have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. God bless you. God bless America. And we'll see you guys next week.